Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter. This is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Order your favorite tennis gear at TennisExpress.com today. The tennis world was very excited last year when Boris Becker started coaching Holger Rune. Becker may be a bit, well, different, but he's a six-time Grand Slam champion and a Hall of Famer. And most importantly, he had coached Novak Djokovic during a three-year period where Novak won six major titles. Making the pairing even better was the strong relationship that Rune and Djokovic have developed over the years. Rune really looks up to Djokovic, so the logic was that he would also look up to Becker. The pair had good success down the stretch in 2023, with Rune regaining form and enjoying his time with Becker in the coaching box. They extended their partnership into 2024, with hopes that Rune would take his place among the tour's elite once again. Over the winter, excitement grew further when Rune added former Roger Federer coach Severin Luthi to the team. Rune is ranked number seven. Would that new team help Rune turn the corner and climb even higher? Well, we'll never know because that team has already vanished. Luthi was the first to go, leaving two months after he joined the team, citing scheduling conflicts. Then this week, we learned that Boris Becker left as well, citing professional and private responsibilities. I guess we should have seen it coming. Becker wasn't in Melbourne for the Australian Open, where Rune lost in the second round. For 15 years, Rune had worked with Danish coach Lars Christensen, but they parted ways last year. Then there was Patrick Martoglu, who was there when Rune won his biggest title in Paris at the end of 2022. Martoglu left last April. Then they picked up again, but by September, it was over again. Sensing a pattern here? After 15 years with his childhood coach, Rune can't seem to settle on a coach. Is this going to be a problem going forward? His key competitors, Carlos Alcaraz and Yannick Sinner, are both locked and loaded with big-time coaches Juan Carlos Ferrero and Darren Cahill. Meanwhile, Rune's team seems to be operating in a state of chaos. In a statement this week, Rune said it's been extremely difficult to find stability in his coaching team, that it's just not very easy to find the right fit. Rune still has his mom, though, who functions as his manager and his coach, says he always relies on her for stability. But what happens next? Does Rune have another big name in mind, or will he stay with former Danish star Kenneth Carlson, who was with him in Australia this year? Rune can be a tough personality, so will this always be an issue? What do you guys think? Is this coaching thing just a bump, or is it a sign of bigger problems to come? Sound off in the comments section and we'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.